Last week, we took another trip to Karamoja, the high north of Uganda, to uh, really dedicate this land to the true owner, which is Jesus Christ. Uh, my son Patrick went with a big group of musicians and a big music group, great loudspeakers, up there and for two days in the desert, we worshiped the Lord, we praised the Lord, we took back the land and, uh, from any other ownership but Jesus Christ. And uh, we, we were so happy how the local people participated and really appreciated our uh, dedication that they knew we were coming in the name of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Today, we want to really make a beginning of the ministry here. We want to first, with a big worship concert, declare the Lordship of Jesus Christ over Karamoja. We know that Jesus Christ paid the price to redeem the whole world. And we now want to take this promise that he has given us and put action to it. Hallelujah to the Son of God. The first time we were in Karamoja, the people were welcoming us and were open and friendly and yet there was a lot of suspicion and mistrust because of others that have gone there before, taken pictures, made them promises and yet nothing happened. And so there was a slight suspicion that we are the same kind of people. But this time we came after four uh, boreholes were already flowing with fresh water. And uh, they came and not only received us, they rejoiced with us, they praised God with us. And we could taste that water, it was refreshing. Not only did I enjoy that water, but all the children there, the adults, and even the goats came and enjoyed that fresh drinking water. To show you how serious the people want us to be in Karamoja, they gave us now 10 acres of beautiful land. Part of it was the land where the, originally the British headquarters were. And uh, they also were participating in our uh, marking of the land where we want to build the big headquarters with a community hall and a kindergarten for 300 children. Uh, we, we took the first spade and uh, it's already now done in the foundation. We took two of our best builders up there with 10 masons from here and the other, all the co-workers we are taking from Karamoja. They will cooperate with our people. There's a little language problem, but with love, everything you can overcome. And the, the things are moving very fast and in a very beautiful way. And these builders have proven before that they can work on their own and surprise us with a good outcome. We also came with a big truck full of gifts for the Karamo Jong, young and old. We brought them basins and jerry cans and soap and toothpaste and clothes and uh, many things, Bibles, many Bibles and they were so well received. And uh, you know, it is also time already to choose the children for the first kindergarten class, a hundred children. So we picked already from the poorest ones, a hundred children in the age of four to six, and uh, took their pictures, took their stories, men, uh, measured their, their, their feet, uh, because we need to uh, sew the costumes, we want to make caravan John costumes and, uh, and just be ready by February, end of February, 
when we want to open that kindergarten. We trust we can open this whole uh, headquarter with the kindergarten in the beginning of, Ma of March of 2017. And Mama Janet has already promised us that she will come and be part of that. We are looking forward. Our thanksgiving goes especially to Mama Janet, who made it possible for us to transport building materials from our headquarters in Chiunga, close to Mukono, to Karamoja. It would have been very expensive for us, and up there you hardly get any materials to buy. So God is blessing on all levels. I shouted.